Hello, Metal Stud Framers and Drywallers. This video, I'm going to be taking the, the layout of steel stud walls a little bit further. We're going to be jumping into the drawings where you have to start first pages, okay? The cover pages and identify the wall types that you need to identify later on in the floor plans. This video, I'm going to concentrate just on identifying the walls and the soffits, the systems that you need to know as a steel stud foreman a steel stud framer doing piecework and doing layout or a drywaller even learning knowing having to know what drywall to go on what walls so stay tuned this is coming right up the first thing you want and do you need to start learning when you're laying out steel stud walls is uh drywall okay you need to understand how drywall works okay Go your way around the drawings, uh, starting right now with the with the cover page. Okay, every set of drawings has a cover page. Um, you you basically you want to go into the cover page and um, like highlight the pages that are relevant to you as a steel stud framer. Okay, so as a steel stud framer, uh, there, you don't need all of these pages, right? Right? You need uh, floor plans. You need uh, reflected ceiling plans. You need a uh, door and window schedule, right? You need, um, and then of course, like the wall types. This is a list of the drawings, okay? We have architectural, structural, mechanical, electrical, civil, landscape, survey, aquatics, whatever, right? They're all gonna be um, uh, identified by a, the letter, okay? So A is for architectural, S for structural, M for mechanical, E for electrical, okay? You know, that, so you get how that works, right? So A 0.0, .0 cover page, okay? Well, that's the one we're on. You, right away, you wanna find your wall types. Every time you get a, get a set of drawings, if you're bidding it or uh, pricing a job for somebody, that's what you want. You want the um, the wall types, the, the page that tells you um, all the different types of walls and ceilings and things like that, right? Here is our uh, wall types, okay? And we find all the steel stud. If we're doing steel and drywall on this job, okay, we're gonna we're gonna find all of the steel and drywall on on this list because. Sometimes uh, there is no substrate, right? Like it's literally drywall to concrete or something stupid like that, right? So just look, find the drywall, find the steel stud, highlight those wall types, okay? It's normally in steel stud and drywall, we don't do the cladding part. So our job is to, starting from here, okay? We don't do the moisture barrier, okay? We don't do that. We stop at the, uh, this is exterior grade gypsum board. So this is exterior board. It could end up being dense glass, okay? Um, and then, so 203 millimeter uh, steel studs at 400 on center. So that's uh, every 16 inches. Um, so you can find out basically the size of a stud in millimeters, just divide it by 25, okay? So 200 divided by 25, okay? So eight inch, right? I think. Yeah, eight inches, right? So 203 millimeters is eight inches. Um, that's pretty normal. That's eight, six inches, eight inches is pretty normal for an exterior wall. Um, and then no insulation inside of these walls, right? If you see outsulation, we call this outsulation, the the semi rigid here. That scope belongs to the uh, to the clatters. So what we do now is we we highlight this, right? We highlight wall number one. Let me see if I can, just for fun. I don't know. Um, oh, wall one. And then we can come in here and highlight oh, our scope. Okay. So we have exterior board, eight inch stud at 16 inch on center, and then cement board. Okay. Complete with acrylic coating system. All right. So it's simple like that. Um, so W1 is definitely our our uh, scope of work. We're gonna go now, we're just gonna keep going through some metal cladding, so this is good. We, 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 we look through the metal cladding scope of work, the sheet metal worker, um, all the way down to moisture barrier is basically where we um, where we stop, where they stop and we start every time, okay? So there's, see, look at this, this is interesting. 13 millimeter exterior grade gypsum board on existing wall construction. Okay, so there's already an existing wall 
but they're going to be probably demoing the drywall so uh, or and then metal cladding it or recladding it whatever uh, so we got to highlight w2 because we got to put that drywall on right so don't miss that the things like that little things like that like w2 we don't know how big w2 is <laughs> right but just highlight it right all right so you guys are kind of getting where this is going okay i'm not going to go through every wall type here but let's see if there's an um these are exterior let's go to an interior wall uh partitions okay so here's the interior one okay um let's see we go description here okay so just taking makes no drywall here um okay so there's a, a steel stud here a gypsum board no insulation in the wall okay 16 mil so five eighths okay 5 8 drywall on 3 and 5 8 steel stud at 16 inch on center. Yeah, so that the 92 millimeters, 3 and 5 8 152 millimeters, 6 inch, uh, 16 millimeters, 5 8 um, So yeah, we got, oh, we got a 5 8 wall. What the heck? Come on, man. 5 8 wall here. Uh, another 3 and 5 8 wall, All right? All right, so we got P2.1. 2.2, 2.3, um, excellent, actually. This is really neatly organized. So um, our partitions, our in interior partitions are only uh, P2s. No insulation. So I was hoping to find something with insulation. It, uh, it'll it tell you what kind of insulation in here, right? It'll be like bad or semi-rigid or whatever, right? Um, bad insulation is just like the pink stuff or the white stuff, you know? Um, and the, um, the, the, the uh, our value for uh, three and five eighths is R12. The R value for six inch steel stud is R20. Under these furring walls, okay, you have steel and wood. All drywall is going to be yours though, okay? All drywall. So cement board, um, cement board, uh, gypsum, cement board, cement board. Uh, plywood okay so this will be the general contractor who puts this sheathing on okay so you don't price that and you don't count that in your in your price um, and same with the wood studs you don't price that you only price steel stud and drywall okay you do you don't price any of the wood right and then uh, ceiling okay uh, t-bar right so t-bar is your deal um there's a drywall ceiling here so right away that you want to find um if you're doing t-bar t-bar but uh the gypsum ones right if you're framing okay you want to find the gypsum um the the steel and gypsum finished ceiling okay um cement boards what wow oh this is a universal changer but this is a crazy uh ceiling here so plaster skim coat on cement board with three and five eighths metal framing at 16 inch on center and cement board again this is the ceiling guys okay don't forget that everything that i've learned is in in the field and by practice right um i've never had a book but there is an apprenticeship program for it right the Lathner Interior Systems Mechanic Apprenticeship. There's also a Lathner Interior Systems Mechanic division of most unions, right? Most carpenters unions now have LSM divisions, okay? And then soffits too. Soffits are another thing. They're the exterior ceilings, right? Basically is what I just call them the outside ceilings, okay? Um, make sure there's nothing here for you, right? Metal cladding on steel stud framing. Okay, so this steel stud framing, they're gonna make you do that. So S soffit, uh, SF03, okay, at the front entrance. Okay, you have some steel stud framing there, all right? You don't have a, a specification on what size it is. So what you have to do is now look in the specifications and find what what they what they need for support here you know usually it's like furring bar hat track type thing right okay guys so i hope this video really really helped you understand that there's other trades that are involved in building the walls and ceilings generally yeah we the ism guys are the wall and ceiling builders but there's the roofers and the clatters who we work with very very closely they'll pick up where we leave off the cladding guys will do the insulation when it's outside of the membrane 
We'll do the insulation when it's inside the walls, right? The roofers, for example, they'll be they'll have insulation and board in their scope of work, but because it's on the roof, it's not relevant to us. Okay, we're going to be concentrating on soffits, parapets, walls, like interior walls, exterior walls. Okay, ceilings, bulkheads, anything with steel stud and drywall. It's important to look through the list. Remember to look through the list of wall types to identify all the drywall you need to know because sometimes the drywall will be on existing structures. The drywall will be on concrete. The drywall could be on wood for all you know, right? And then there's other systems that will be on steel stud, right? So go through the wall types like I just showed you here in this video. And in next video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to then identify the walls on the drawings, on the floor plans, all right? And then we'll be moving into details and I'm gonna show you exactly how to know everything. I'm gonna teach you exactly everything you need to know for laying out your steel stud walls, guys. See you on the next one.